Hey, I'm a ton like. All right, guys. All right, so now we're going to choose a template for our opt in page. Now, ClickFunnels provides you with a lot of templates that you can use. Uh, different selections, okay? And you don't have to make your your funnels complicated, all right? You can use any template that you would like. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's all about your creativity. If you're not that creative, going with a basic, simple template is fine, all right? So as you can see, as I scroll down here, you have multiple, multiple examples of funnels that you can make or pages that you can make. But we're gonna just do something very simple Okay, so I'm gonna just keep scrolling here. Keep scrolling and we're just gonna find us something that we could use here. Something very easy to say, okay? Now, this is very, this is, this is pretty simple, but I want a little bit more. Let's go with this right here, okay? Big headline opt-in. So let's select this template. All right, guys, so ClickFunnels gives you. All right, guys, so ClickFunnels is going to give you a lot of different ways to build you a funnel. Um, they're going to give you a lot of different templates. OK, so as you could scroll down here, you will notice that there are different templates that you could select in order for you to edit. And this is what funnel hacking is. Uh, basically, you're taking something that's pre-made, something that is already proven to work and you're changing it to fit your business, okay? So what you wanna do is just you wanna find you a template. Now, anytime that you want to preview a template, all you have to do is hover over. ClickFunnels is gonna give you two options. You get to select that template or you can preview. So if you click preview, then as you can see here, you can see what this template looks like. You can scroll all the way down and you can start letting your imagination run wild figuring out how you can change this to fit you and your business, okay? And very easy to do. All we wanna do is just come down and find us something very simple, all right? Simple is good. You don't have to have like a super outrageous, beautiful um, opt-in page, okay? It's just to collect emails. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come down here and any one of these three uh, templates are good. So I'm going to select this one, okay? Just going to click Select Template. Now that I have my template selected, okay, the next step is editing this page. But before we get into editing the page, I want you to notice everything that you see here, all right? And I'm going to go over what each thing is that you see. That way you have a better understanding of what it is that you're looking at whenever you create a funnel and looking at your dashboard, okay? Now, the first thing is the steps. Steps means the steps of the funnel, okay? And you can add as many steps as you would like. Uh, with ClickFunnels on the $97 plan, you get to make up to 20 uh, funnels and 100 pages, all right? So keep that in mind whenever you're creating funnels. You can create 20 with a total of 100 pages or 100 steps, all right? So that's what steps is. It's just the funnel steps that you're gonna be having. That's the pages of your website. Number two is the stats. So when you start getting opt-ins and people are landing on each page, you will see your page views 
and your opt-ins, okay? And it will give you your stats for that funnel. Up here is the filter. This is where you can change the dates, the starting date, and the end date. So if you want to check it once every week, you can just come in and pull up your stats for the week and you can estimate how many people are actually taking action on your funnel. OK, the next part is context. OK, context. When someone opts in to your funnel, when they put their email and their name and their phone number, if you're asking for a phone number, when they put that information in, it will appear here in the contact section. OK, so every time that someone comes to your website, they put their email in, you will get that information here. And ClickFunnels also allows you to download all of your contents. Remember what I was telling you guys about the, the most important asset that you can have inside of your digital business is an email list. So when you're building your email list, all you have to do is click this download button and it's going to download into a file on your computer. So you are able to keep track of all of your data okay the last step is your settings here all right now your settings is where you can change the name of your funnel you can add a tag to it you can pick which domain that you would like to add this funnel to um, and we'll get further about domains later uh, paths page paths what a page path is is whenever you type a website in uh, the URL address, it's going to have a path to this page. So what you could do is change this path name to whatever your domain is. And after we hook that up, then you, you'll understand. You could put welcome here as in welcome. And that's all you have to put. Uh, S <coughs> path is already being used. Welcome to, um, my site just putting my site just because i want to uh <coughs> i want to be able to publish let me go back to settings guys okay so see how it sets up like this so when someone clicks on a url and they type in your website they could put this path at the end of your forward slash and it would take them to your home page if that makes sense and i'll show you guys how that works uh, SMTP configuration. This is for your emails. If you are using SendGrid, if you're using any other autoresponder, um, there's another way to integrate that. Uh, Favicon URL. This is when you're actually getting a, a little icon. So let me show you. See how you have this little C here? And over here, ClickFunnels has their little logo. SendGrid has their little logo there. Um, these are Favicons. OK, that's what that means. If you get a favicon made and have someone create you one, you can add the URL for that favicon and you will get this on your websites. OK, head tracking and body tracking is made for Google tags and pixels from Facebook in case you want to run ads or just because you need to be tracking your data anyway. You want to always install a Google analytics tag there so you can be tracking uh, all of your customers or prospects share this funnel means that you can share the funnel that you built with anyone else who has a click funnels account um, this is a powerful tool if you create a funnel that's making a lot of money and uh, you have affiliates for your program whenever you decide to launch your own programs or maybe you have a friend that just needs some help with um, you know just designing a funnel and they don't want to build it from scratch you could just share yours and show them how to change everything okay guys uh stripe accounts this is your payment integration here uh well my payment integration you can use stripe or paypal uh, and all you have to do is follow the instructions in order to integrate your your paypal or your stripe account and you just select your account in case you're selling products uh if you need to calculate your sales tax cost automatically inside of your funnel you can sign up for this zapier is a powerful tool uh, it's a web automation app with zapier you can build zaps which can automate parts of your business like a zap is a blueprint for for a task you want to do over and over so if you wanted to send automatic emails to people or add people into a spreadsheet automatically as soon as they opt into your funnel you can use that zap and it will do it for you okay Webhooks use webhooks to send data to an external system 
funnel web hooks are triggered when a new contact is created or updated and when a new purchase is created or updated. For more information, you can see that there, manage your funnel web hooks. Um, that's just so you can basically connect certain things to where when people are buying things, this automatically uh, shoots them a web hook for it. So let me let me show you this real quick before I move on, because this stuff is not really that necessary. This is more advanced. OK, so basically you would just go to your webhook URL. It would tag all the events, any event that someone takes place. It will automatically um, store that data into files. OK, um, but this is not automatic. This is not something that is super important. Well, it is, but for later in life, okay? After you understand the basics of funnels. Uh, Third-party membership access. This is a uh, non-order form purchase tracking. This is where you can integrate ClickBank, JVZoo, Warrior Plus, or PayPal, and you can start adding products that way uh, just to track the purchases that you have on these third-party sites, okay? And that's basically it inside of the settings. So I'm gonna just save and update. Right, guys. Now, let's go back here to our steps. OK, now up here, you're going to see different um, icons up here. So this is copy URL to a clipboard in case you want to share this link for someone to um, to use it. Uh, you can visit the funnel URL. That means that you can preview that page. OK. Uh, and this right here is what is the funnel URL that's just explaining to you what this is. All right. So let's get into it. Now, down here, you have remove your fun remove from funnel. So that means that just destroys this page. Uh, delete funnel step or clone funnel step. So that means you can just duplicate this particular step uh, into your funnel. So I can do that real quick, show you that's what it is. Anything that you duplicate or clone it will appear down here inside your other funnel steps. And if you wanted to add that to the funnel, you would just click this button here and it will put it up here like so, okay? But we're not needing that, but I just wanted to show you guys how that works. In the middle here, you have what they call a split test. Now this is powerful inside of ClickFunnels, especially when you're running massive amounts of traffic. This works great for ads. What happens is you can create a variation of this page. So let's say you have this page and it's white right now. You can create a variation of a black page and test both of them to see which one converts the best. Whichever one co converts the best, then you could just move all of your traffic to that particular funnel and just run up the sales. OK, I hope that makes sense. But I'll get more into split testing when we start making sales funnels. All right, so let's go ahead and start editing this page. All right, so now we are here at the page and there is a toolbar at the top. This is where you're going to be making all of the adjustments and changes and adding and taking stuff away, okay? This is where all these things are. So let's go over each one of these steps here. So you have the back arrow here. This is where you're going to exit your funnel. You have desktop view and mobile view. Anytime that you're creating funnels, always remember to optimize for mobile, which means you want to make sure that it still looks the same on a cell phone or is optimized where none of the text are too big. Your buttons aren't too small or too big. Uh, you just want to make sure everything is flowing smoothly on a mobile device all right apps this is not necessarily anything that you will probably be using anytime soon but all it is is just um certain certain features that you can add into a funnel um and these are not necessarily that important okay this is this works better if you're like into um ecom stuff and and, and things like that but it's in it's in beta okay um, the next step is settings. This is going to be probably the most important part of your business and of your funnels because this controls everything in the funnel. So you have your integrations, which is your email integrations, SEO metadata, 
This is the information that is going to be seen when you send someone your link. So when you share your website, there normally is um, text and a picture that appears that has your website name with information about what your website is about and a picture of whatever product or um, whatever your website homepage would look like. All right. So SEO metadata is very important. You have to change this before you can even launch a funnel tracking codes. This is where you're going to add your uh, Google tags, uh, your Google analytics codes, any type of tracking codes that you're going to be using in order to track the data from your funnel. Facebook pixel. This is, of course, self-explanatory. This is for running Facebook ads or tracking data using Facebook. Uh, this works very well if you have a Facebook fan page that you are focused on and you're sending so many people through there. Uh, you will be able to install your Facebook pixel uh, on your funnels on all funnel steps and track all of the data. Custom CSS. This is for all of my code people. Uh, whenever you have certain things that you want to add that is um, you know, just just little enhancements to your funnel. I do not advise that you do anything with a custom CSS if you do not know what you're doing. Uh, it's better to hire someone to code a funnel if you do not know how to use a CSS, because if you go in here messing around, you will mess something up and it will be hard to get it back. Background. This is where you're going to change the background on your funnel. That's, that can be pictures, colors um, or the, the style of the pictures or colors, okay? Uh, typography, this is the fonts, the basic font usage, um, the style, the size, that's where you're gonna change that. General settings is going to be where you can set this up as a page template. This is where you can give an option to show your affiliate badges or show up in the search engines, all right? Pop-up. Now the pop-up section is where you can add a pop-up. So we'll say show pop-up and of course we have no pop-up here, um, but you can create one, okay? And edit settings is basically coming here to where you can create everything for your pop-up. You can add buttons, you can put images, uh, you can trigger it to um, pop up when people leave or to go off on a certain timer or when they take a certain action, all right? And we'll get more into that uh, later in the training. This right here is your undo button in case you make a mistake and you want to change it or go back to its original uh, original form, then you could just hit the undo button. You have the, for, the redo button. Uh, this is in case you like that change after you look at it and you want to put it back, you can just click this button. Now this is where we get into the intricate details of a funnel, understanding the sections, rows, columns, and elements. Now, each one of these settings here or each one of these positions has something to do with what it is on the funnels. So if you see sections, right? So we can go and as you can see, it's everything that is blue. OK, everything that is blue. So when you come to your funnel. Oh, excuse me, not blue. It's going to be everything that is green. All right. That is a section of a funnel. OK, a row is going to be everything that is blue, all right? Everything that you see here is blue, is a row, columns. Hey, I got something, something to say. I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain. I know it's tough and I know there's pain But hitting bottom is the only way to change So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, 